Hey, call me Rec. Mike and Robbie coming to you from the Robert and Dorothy Goldberg Foundation Arts and Crafts Center for another challenge. But before we get to today's challenge, real quick, want to remind you at home that Monday we had our Monday Madness and we're in the championship round for what is the your favorite summer camp trip we take. We've got Whale's Tale versus Aquaboggan. You can still vote either in the comments section on Facebook or on the poll on Twitter. So make sure you get out and have your voice heard. Okay, Teen Center members, Tuesday we started a self-quarantine Olympics event, so every week we'll be dropping a new challenge for you guys to do. Just make sure you send us your results. Look back at the video if you forget the rules and everything, but make sure you participate because at the end of the month, there will be a gold medal and a Teen Center of the Month will be awarded. All right, so now on to today's challenge. Today is an arts and crafts challenge, a drawing challenge, a quarantine drawing challenge. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna have two people, two drawing utensils, preferably a pen or a marker. What you're going to do is on the wall, you're gonna put a piece of paper and then one per member is gonna face that wall with their pen, all right? That person who is drawing on the wall on their back has a piece of paper drawn, uh, taped like this to their back. The other member is going to, one at a time, draw lines and eventually create some sort of picture. Now, arts and crafts is not my forte, but I'm gonna give it a go. Robbie's gonna do the drawing on the wall, and we're gonna see how it turns out. So here we go, here is Robbie's area that he's gonna be drawing on. There's the area on Robbie's back that I'm gonna be drawing on. I'm gonna do one line at a time, and then we're gonna see what our results are. So here we go. Remember, I can't see what Mike's drawing, so I need to kind of follow what he's doing on my back and put it on the paper in front of my face, so. See what Mike has me drawing today. All right. Are you ready, Robbie? Uh, maybe. I got a cheat sheet here, just so you know. All right. Let's start with number one. The number one line. I know I'm way off. <laughs> All 
All right, Robbie's gonna close his eyes now. The thing I drew is typically a happy thing. It looks a little angry, but it's it's harder to draw on the back than you would think it would be. So, all right, so. Oh, God. So, <laughs> there we are. We got Mickey Mouse, <laughs> and I think that's something from Monsters, Inc. That's kind of what I was picturing, but then, I, this, I don't know what line this was, but no. that threw off my whole picture. <laughs> Not bad. You, Looks like a Halloween Mickey Mouse. All right guys, so a couple of quick tips. Um, as the person staring at the wall, um, I guess just go slow because when they're drawing, you kind of end up just, I don't even know, like look at the difference. He just drew a, probably the first circle around here and I did an entire circle. So like, Try to focus really hard on their, their marker and not their hand on your back. Also, uh, as the drawer on the back, uh, try to use a marker that is a little easier to put pressure on. Make sure you're wearing a light t-shirt when you do it. And try not to put your hand on the person's back to create pressure, um, as that I think uh, messed up Robbie a little bit. But yeah. it, this was super fun. It, it was, was uh, you can get pictures off YouTube, um, easy to draw different characters, make it fun, have the parent, and then have the kid draw, switch places, gives you a little uh, activity to do inside on these quarantine days, and also gives you a little bit of uh, artwork to remember and have up on the fridge, so. Call me Rick. Thank you guys. Have fun with this one.